Tonight, we're also getting our first look at the far reaches of space. These are the new images from the James Webb Space Telescope. They are fantastic, showing galaxies billions of light years away. Now, scientists from every field are in awe. That includes the researchers at the Stowers Institute in Kansas City. KCTV5's Betsy Webster talked with them about what it all means. Jay Unruh's specialty is microscopes, not telescopes. Biology instead of astrophysics. Basically figuring out how we see the inner workings of cells. He uses his close-up lenses to uncover what might cause diseases and inform how they could be cured. Seeing these images from space, the farthest back in time and space ever, with never-before-seen clarity, has him and his colleagues amazed. It was incredible. It was, I mean, you're looking back 13 billion years in time. I mean, it's essentially us looking at the beginning of the universe. Whether it is at the um, cosmic scale or whether it is at the microscopic scale, uh, the job of scientists is to really make the invisible visible. In the case of the Webb Telescope, they explained, what makes the images so much clearer than with past projects is launching it a million miles from Earth. Well, the reason the sky is blue is because we have an atmosphere, and that blurs everything. And in the same way, biology is blurry. You look at my hand, I can't see through it. I can't see what's going on inside there. That's where Hannah Wilson comes in. My main project is to remove lipids from brains. Mouse brains, that is. The reason you can see those clear images is because the telescope is out into space, outside of all that fuzziness that's in the Earth's atmosphere. Similarly, when you're trying to look really close up in a microscope, well, the brain is opaque. That's similar to the atmosphere making things fuzzy. And then you take the lipids out of it, and now it's transparent, so you can see deep inside. That allows for images like this. The takeaway for the Institute's executive director if a team of humans can figure out how to see billions of years back in time to the edge of the cosmos. If we can do that, we should be able to figure out, you know, what makes our cells work, what makes uh, diseases uh, take place, and uh, come up with solutions. In Kansas City, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.